30 news headlines. Now there's growing power struggle in the ANC whose Secretary General Ace Makashule has now refused to comply with the suspension after being charged with corruption. Makashule has denied the charges and calls the move unconstitutional and he is prohibited from making public pronouncements or mobilizing any party structures. The suspension is effective from the 3rd of May and follows Makashule's refusal to step aside in the top six and the National Working Committee meeting. Meanwhile, Makashule has written a letter to party president Cyril Ramaphosa suspending him. Now, in a letter circulating on social media last night, Makashule says that he's used powers vested in him to subsequently suspend the president. More than 2,000 new COVID-19 cases have been recorded in a single day, and it's the first time that figure has breached this mark since mid-February. The health department says that 2,073 new infections were recorded in the past 24 hours, and that takes the total number of cases recorded across South Africa to over 1,588,000. 46 deaths were also recorded during um, uh, this time, taking the death toll to 54,556. President Soro Ramaphosa has appointed Constitutional Court Justice Sisi Khampepe to act as Chief Justice. The Office of the Chief Justice has announced that Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng has taken long leave. Mukweng's leave comes five months before his term as Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court comes to an end in October this year. In the past few months, Mukweng has uh, been controversial in his comments over Israel and the COVID-19 vaccines. Those are your news headlines at 6.30.